Okay, that concludes the warm-up for session two. So if we could uh, vacate the pool, please. Uh, we are due to get started with session two in just three or four minutes. So if we could empty the pool, please, swimmers. So before we do get started, we do have to run through health and safety. So if I could have your attention, please. In the event of an emergency, a siren will sound and staff will direct you to the nearest exit. Please ensure that you keep all fire exits clear. Take a look around and check where your nearest exit is. There's to be no glass items or outdoor footwear poolside. And swimmers on leaving poolside should dry off and wear the appropriate dry clothing and footwear. Keep stairways clear. There is to be no mobile phones in the changing rooms, toilets or shower areas. Anyone wishing to take photographs or videos, you must sign the appropriate consent form, which is available at the meet entry desk at the top of the stairs. Videos cannot be posted on unsecure websites, but may be posted on secure club websites. When filming, please ensure that you focus as much as possible on your club swimmer or your own family met swimmer. And please remember the rule about um, posting on websites. So swimmers are asked to be at the marshalling area, which is at the back of the dive blocks. Um, in fact, it's at the back of dive blocks three and four, um, at least 10 minutes before their own heat. I'll introduce our senior officials for session two. They are Robert Taylor. Sorry, I beg to start that again. Our referees are Robert Taylor and Ross Stewart. And our starters are Rob Barrett and Katie Saunderson. So welcome to everybody to session two here in East Kilbride of this weekend's long course pre-snag meet. Welcome to our spectators, all of our swimmers, coaches, team managers, and of course all our volunteers, both front of house and back, whom, without whom this meet could not run. Welcome to those of you who are joining us on live stream. My name is Jackie Smith and I will be joined for this session by Stuart Stevenson. We'll take you through the session two's events. We'll get started shortly and it will be the event 201, which is the 200 meter IM for our boys 11 to 13 years of age before we move on to the female 800 freestyle. So the pool has cleared and we are due to get started. So swimmers, please ensure you are up at the marshalling area. If you are a reserve, and there are some reserves throughout the program this afternoon, please present yourself at the marshalling area as if you were in the first heat. This will allow our marshals to slot you in to a heat should a swim become available to you. So reserves, please ensure you're at the marshalling area as if you were swimming in heat one. So we will get uh, session two underway shortly. Just our officials organizing and ensuring that uh, we are all ready to go. So we have, uh, as we said, in, during the course of session one, and then as the title,
Okay, off we go with heat one of three, event 201. It's the boys, alone to 13, 200 metre individual medley. Lane two, Nikephorus Kalamakis from the city of Glasgow. Three, Gordon McGregor from Kilmarnock. Four, Samuel McEwen, Cumbernauld. Five, Noah Graham, city of Glasgow. So, Nikephorus and Noah, both 11. Gordon Samuel, both 13. And looks like Lane's two and, two and four in the lead at the moment. As it comes to the first turn, it's lane four, Samuel McEwen, Cumbernauld, 39.88, so sub 40 for his fly. A couple of seconds up on the rest of the field there after the butterfly. So strong start there from Samuel. And looking good in the backstroke as well. Also coming through, well, in lane two, Nicky Forrest, City of Glasgow swimmer, 11 year old. So the consideration time for snags here is 2.49.13. So the quickest entry here is about 2.59, about 10 seconds off that. So they'll have to have a really good swim here compared to the entry if these boys are going to challenge for the snags consideration. 1.25.32 for Samuel McEwen after 100 as he transitions into breaststroke. Press strokes always an interesting one to watch. It's been the slow stroke it's where the most pull, most of the pull of the, is gained or lost. And moving up here, challenging for second now, in lane three. Gordon McGregor, Kilmarnock swimmer, and he's just nudged up ahead of Nicky Forrest now into second place. Still out in the lead, Sammy McEwen. Maintained a decent lead over the breaststroke discipline as he turns at the wall into the freestyle, 2.19.25. So it's been a good swim here, Samuel McEwen, a Cumbernauld swimmer. So they won't be challenging that snags consideration, but it does look like he'll post a decent time here. Entry time for Sam, 3.02.60, so I think he'll beat his PB here, 3.00.70 for Samuel McEwen. Oh, a cracking finish here. Oh, right, right to the wire there in lanes two and three. So it's Nicky Forrest, 3.05.38, and Gordon, 3.05.43. Well done, boys. On to heat two. And this is heat two of event 201, lane one, Jack Handley, Ren 96, two, Zach Neeson, Lark Hall, three, Oliver McElwraith, Cumbernauld, four, Aidan Mooney, City of Glasgow, and his teammate, Callan Chetta, swims in lane five. So it's lane five, Callan Chetta takes the early lead. He'll turn fern tr first, transitioning into the backstroke. In behind him, lane three, Oliver McElwraith. And these two boys are out in front, ahead of the rest of the field. Oliver's doing something really well here in the centre of the pool there. Looks like he now has the advantage in this backstroke session of the 200 IM. Indeed he does, he has the advantage over 
Callan Chesser, our lo- early leader. And going into the halfway mark will be the Cumberland Old Summer, Oliver McElraith. Turning first, 115.53. Callan Chesser, 117.27. Third place is lane one, 125.26. We're in 96, Jack Handley. So into the breaststroke. And looking really strong out there in front is the Cumberland Old Swimmer. 2.51.68 was his entry time. Consideration time for Snags is 2.49.13. So it's not out with the bounds of possibility for Oliver. Alan Chesser in second as Oliver turns and heads for home. Alan Chesser will turn second. And third place is now lane two. Zach Neeson from Lark Hall turning third. It's the Cumberland Old Swimmer, Oliver McElraith, who will lead the field home. Far too much water between him and second place, Alan Chesser. For anybody to do anything about Oliver's lead, who let's just keep an eye on the clock against the times. It's a cracking time against his entry time. 2.43.21. Qualifying time, if that's confirmed. But second place goes to Callan Chesser, 2.50.28. And third place in lane two, Zach Neeson, 2.55.93. Oliver will be well pleased with that if that time is confirmed. This is our third and final heat of this one. Lane one, Jack Kavlain of Ren 96. Two, Yasin Hatab, Don Fries. Three, Samuel Ruff, City of Glasgow. Four, Jensen Basketter, City of Glasgow. No lane five, six, Lewis Riley, South Ayrshire. So it looks like we have uh, lanes three and four have secured their snags. <coughs> Entries, if they are entry times to this meet, are in to go by. Again, these will have to be accredited times, so it is a possibility that we'll still be trying to secure them. Consideration is 2.49.13, qualification 2.44.20, so these are the times that these swimmers will be aiming for. In the lead at the moment, in lane two, Yasin Hatab, free swimmer, and alongside him, Samuel Ruff in three, that's a one-two at the moment, pretty close, a half a body length, and also in four, Jensen Basketter, a City of Glasgow swimmer, so that's the one-two and three, stroke for stroke here, at halfway point, 115-27, and a very good transition there, Samuel Ruff, he's turned and now stroke for stroke, joint leader, I would say, with Yassin and Jensen as well so all three of these boys now locked together in this breaststroke leg so quickest entry Samuel Ruff 237.50 Jensen 243.13 Yassin 245.00 and stretching out here is Jensen and he's taken a reasonably healthy lead now in that breaststroke leg. 201.84, about four seconds ahead of the other two. 
But it was the second half of that breaststroke. He just nudged the way ahead and pulled ahead with every stroke. And he's looking very strong here, coming into the home straight. I would say just in second at the moment is Samuel Ruff. So it's Jensen, Batskater, Samuel Ruff, Yasin Hatab, one, two, three. And I don't think Jensen will be denied this one now. He's way clear as he comes into the finish. Entry 243.13 and he posts a 238.44. Great PB there from Jensen. Second place, lane three, Samuel Ruff, 241.05. And just a point one behind, Yasin Hatab, 241.15. So we move on to event 202. This is the female 11 to 18, 800 meter freestyle. We have two heats of this in session two today. This is heat one, lane one, Amy Rowell, City of Glasgow. Two, Charlotte Craig, Ren 96. Three, Daisy Gilday, City of Glasgow. Four, Abby McMillan, City of Glasgow. Five, Susanna Curran, Kilmarnock. And six, Megan McDonald from Sterling Swimming. So we have entry times ranging from 10.12 to 10.30. Swimmers all fall into different age groups for the um, snags qualification and consideration times. So leading the field at the moment is the Open Water, West District Open Water Champion, Daisy Gilday. So she's just outside the qualification time for this event. On her entry time of 10.12.50, she's looking for 10.09.80. In behind her, Charlotte Craig, the 13-year-old from Wren 96. And City of Glasgow's Amy Rowell in third place after the first 100 metres. So as Stuart said in session one, the entries for snags close tomorrow. No, I beg your pardon, this is only Saturday. Uh, it closes on uh, Monday with um, then just about two and a half weeks before racing kicks off in Aberdeen in the second week of which certainly our, is our spring break in Western Bartonshire. I'm assuming it's the same across the country. So, back to the pool. It's still Daisy Gilday leading the field ahead of Charlotte Craig. And Amy Rowell. Well, let's keep an eye on Susanna Curran and Megan McDonald, both moving themselves up into places. And Susanna Curran has now taken third place. Daisy turns there 222.91. Charlotte, 2.25.62. Susanna's some five seconds behind there in lane five. Coming out of the turn well, however. Amy Rowell, she's got herself back up on line with Susanna. But it is still City of Glasgow, Daisy Gilday, Charlotte Craig. Trying to get herself up alongside Daisy. So we've just over 600 metres to go, looking at a finish time of around 9.56. Assuming the girls can keep this pace going of around 75 seconds in the last 100. So Daisy's gonna lead the field into the turn after 300 metres. Charlotte is still 
Martin up there with her, but just not close enough to challenge at the moment. Daisy turns. So we don't have the times at the moment. The scoreboard will hopefully update shortly. Charlotte in behind Daisy. Susanna back in third. Amy in fourth. Megan in fifth. And Abby sixth at the moment. Some distance to go. So at the turn at the far end, Daisy turns first ahead of Charlotte. You can see they've got nine lengths to go. 450 metres coming down for the halfway mark of this 800 metre freestyle this evening. The sun has certainly disappeared, taken away a lot of the glare from the water. Still some nice blue sky looking good out there. Here comes Daisy down to the 400 metres. Leading as she has done from the start. Scoreboard has corrected itself, so we're now getting times. So she's turning first ahead of Charlotte. No, oh, no, correct that. We're not getting times at the moment. Up on the scoreboard. Timer has started again. 5.06. 89 for Susanna in third place. Certainly from this angle I'm sitting at, it looks like Charlotte is making some inroads into the gap between her and our leader, Daisy Gilday. As they come up to the turn with 350 metres to go, it will be Daisy, followed very closely by Charlotte. Susanna in third place. And we can see Charlotte really making an inroad into Daisy's lead now. The gap is close to just about half a body length. Charlotte making her move too, seen, too soon. Does she know what Daisy might have in reserve? Susanna's firmly in third place Amy is fallen back off the pace a little bit she needs to get herself back up alongside Susanna to get herself into the placings at the turn there really nothing between the our leaders and it was Charlotte that's come out of the turn there leading ahead of Daisy Daisy's responding getting herself back up there Charlotte's leading into the turn with 250 metres to go. So the Wren 96 swimmer, the 13-year-old, the youngest in the field. Leading entry time 10, 16, 60. She'll be hunting. She's already got her qualifying time. Daisy's back up alongside her. Susanna in behind them in third place. Amy in fourth. As Daisy and Charlotte almost stroke for stroke coming up to the turn. 200 metres to go after the turn. Charlotte looks to just have the advantage going into the turn. Turns just ahead of Daisy Gilday. Some battle between these two girls. Charlotte has half a body length from Daisy. What can Daisy do to get herself back up? She did it the last time. Susanna in third place. In lane five. One of our older swimmers here, 16 from Kilmarnock. So her entry time, 10.25.56. Consideration time for the, at this distance for her age group is 10.06.57. Charlotte, Daisy, back on almost stroke for stroke, 150 metres to go. The girls will hear the bell when they come down to the next turn. And it is Charlotte from this angle that looks like she 
continues to have the advantage over Daisy. So we need to watch. As I said, Daisy is an open water champion. She's used to distance. Whether Daisy has got enough in the tanks to respond to Charlotte. Charlotte's now going to go into the, far, the turn. Here's the bell. Couple of body lengths ahead of Daisy. 8.53.56. Looking at a finish time of around 10.10 at the moment. As Charlotte continues to move away from the city of Glasgow swimmer. The girls are all hearing the bells as they go into the turn with 100 metres to go. And let's watch Charlotte. She is moving away from Daisy. Coming into the final turn. This race is hers. She has timed the challenge perfectly. Turning there. Daisy turns and heads for home. It will be Susanna who turns in third place. Uh, it looks like this race is all over. This will be the 13-year-old from Ren 96, Charlotte Craig. Who will lead the field in. She's got just about 15 metres to go. She's not going to be caught. Keep an eye on the clock for the finish time for, date for Charlotte. Finishing there in a time of 10.06.43. 10 seconds off of her entry time. And I think, if I'm correct, she's bagged herself a qualifying time for snags. In behind her, Daisy Gilday, 10.15.95, and Susanna Curran, 10.21.22. As Abby McMillan comes in to finish, I will encourage some shouting by teammates for Megan McDonald coming in to finish, and that completes heat one of event 202. Seat two in lane one, Thea Glenn, City of Glasgow. Two, Olivia Caldwell, City of Glasgow. Three, Lucy Hunter, Hamilton. Four, Alice Cumming, City of Glasgow. Five, Emma Binney, Inverclyde. And six, Anna Campbell, from City of Glasgow. Most of the girls in the line here. Lane four in the lead at the moment, Alice Cumming. So the 16 year old from the city of Glasgow takes an early slender lead. And we don't have a swimmer swimming anymore in lane two. So Looks like lanes one, three, and four all locked together in these early stages after 100 metres. 111.44. Uh, by a fraction, it's Thea Glenn, the 17 year old from the city of Glasgow. Just behind her is Lucy Hunter. And also Alice Cumming. Looks like Alice had a decent turn there and maybe making a move in these early stages over this 50 metres. Moved up to about a body length up on Lucy. A long, long way to go. So we have four 15 year olds in this event Olivia Caldwell, Lucy Hunter, Emma Binney, and Anna Campbell. The consideration time for snags. For 15 year olds is 10 14 7 4, qualification 9 51 10. So, looks like Lucy Hunter already has a qualification.
But it's the 16 year old Alice Cumming in the lead after a quarter of the race 2.25.36 so Alice's entry time 9.49.68 so she's quite safe with her consideration time at the moment but the qualification for 16 year olds is 9.48.90 so if she takes a second off just under a second off she'll secure that qualification time So Anna Campbell in sixth came in as a, as a reserve into this heat. And Thea Glenn in lane one, City Glasgow Summer, entry of 10.07. So the time that she has to chase for the 17 and 18 consideration is 10.01.01. Alice Cumming. Looks nicely into a stride here after 300 metres. So 339.94. Pacing at the moment around about 9.52, 9.53. So that would just be a wee bit outside entry at the current pace, but a long, long way to go here. It's a good battle going on for second at the moment. Between Thea Glenn and Lucy Hunter. Lucy Hunter, the 15 year old from Hamilton, currently in second in lane three. Well out in front at the moment, Alice Cumming. She looks to have quickened her pace on site anyway, but we'll find out shortly when we get the split times. So 4.54.24. Round about a 74 second or so, just over 74 second, 100 meter split. Just a fraction quicker than the previous hundreds, but fairly steady. So still sitting around about 9.51, 9.52 finish time. So now well clear. Alice coming. Just approaching the flags, coming up to the 500 meter mark. Looking nice and steady. And yeah, very steady pace at the moment. About 74 and a half seconds per hundred and Lucy Hunter is well clear in second place now in lane three. Lucy's entry is a 9.48.40, so she's already secured a snags qualification. For the 50 goals, that's a 9.51.10. Assuming that that 9.48.40 entry is an accredited time for snags, which it should well be. So it was around about 74 and a half second pacing 
that Alice Cumming was on uh, over the previous 300 metres. And she's just slowed a little bit. It's 75, just over 75 seconds over that 100 there. Maybe just gearing herself up for the final stretch here. Final quarter of the race. So it's quite a lot of water now between first and second and second and third. In third place, Thea Glenn. And in fourth, over in lane five, Emma Binney and Verclyde 15 year olds. Now Emma's entry time is 10 0 0 31. Again, she's got a secure. She's got a secure time here for consideration for Scottish Nationals. Consideration time 15 is 10 14 74. Alice coming now, coming up to the bell. Eight thirty nine oh eight. And she's pacing around about nine fifty four. So we'll see if she can up the pace a little bit to challenge that nine fifty mark or just above. So it's been a strong swim from Alice coming from the outset here and she will she'll take this heat fairly comfortably. Also going well in three, Lucy Hunter. And still in third place, Thea Glenn in lane one. In fourth, Emma Binney, fifth, Anna Campbell. So coming towards the close of the race, we'll see if Alice has got a little burst left in her here as she comes under the flags. So Alice coming, City of Glasgow. Now concludes the race, a very strong finish indeed, 9.51.09 for Alice. Lucy Hunter coming through in second, Lucy's entry. It was about 9.48 or so, she'll be a wee bit outside that, but still a good swim. 10.05.62 and Thea Glenn now we're coming home in 10.16.27 Emma Binney 10.21.71 and Anna Campbell comes through to complete a race City Glasgow swimmer over in lane 6 And that concludes our girls' 800 meter freestyle. Next event will be the male 100 meter breaststroke. We have five heats. So we move on to event 203. Um, as Stuart said, this is the 100 meter breaststroke with five heats. And this is heat one, lane one, Kyle Roding, Falkirk Otter, two, Zach Neeson, Lark Hall, three, Angus Woods, Kintyre, four, Jensen Basketer, City of Glasgow, five, Aidan Mooney, City of Glasgow, and six, Lewis Relly, South Ayrshire. And at the turn, it's lane three, Angus Woods, the 14-year-old from Kintyre. 
38-22. In behind him, Jensen Basketer and Kyle Roding. As the Kintyre swimmer looks really strong out in front of the field. There's a good lead there from second place in lane four, Jensen Basketer. This will be Angus's race. Jensen in second, and third place will go to the Lark Hall swimmer, Zach Neeson, who's being challenged for that by Kyle Roding. Battle going on for second, for third place, I beg your pardon. Who's going to get that at the touch? And it is lane one, Kyle Roding. So first place, Angus Woods, 120.15. Jensen Basketer, 125.02. And Kyle Roding, 129.06. Okay, this is heat two. Lane one, Daniel Faulkner from Dumfries. Two, Matthew Jack, Renfrew Bass. Three, Cameron Mather from Inverclyde. Four, Riley Griffin, Cumbernauld. No swimmer in five. And six, Hamish Caulfield from East Kilbride. Some results for you, the boys. Uh, 200 meter IM. In third, Yasin Hatab, Dumfries. In second, Samuel Ruff, City of Glasgow. In first, Jensen Basketeer from City of Glasgow. So c- collect your medals when you can, boys. In the pool, it's lane three in the lead. Cameron Mather and McLeod. But it's pretty close. Riley Griffin now looks as if he's moved, into, moved ahead in lane four. So it is Riley Griffin now, who's about half a body length up. Riley's entry at 119.60. So Riley, then Cameron, and then Matthew Jack. Looks like he's in third, been challenged by Hamish Caulfield. But coming in to take it is Riley Griffin, 120.87. Second place, Cameron Mather, 122.12. Third place is Matthew Jack, 122.82. And... Happy birthday today. 16 goes to Daniel Faulkner from De Vries. He just completed his race. So happy birthday, Daniel. And this is Heat 3, Lane 1, Kieran Brown, City of Glasgow, Empty Lane 2, 3, Aaron Machen, City of Glasgow, 4, his teammate Kyle Mossman and their teammate Craig Hartley goes in Lane 5, 6, Joe Jamieson from South Ayrshire. So, fastest entry time, 1.15.90, with entry times through to 1.18.90. So, let's see what happens. And it is lane four that's going to turn first. 
Kyle Mossman, the 15-year-old from City of Glasgow, ahead of his teammate, Aaron Machen. Lane one in third place, Kieran Brown, also City of Glasgow. So three City of Glasgow boys battling out for first, second and third places here. Looks like Aaron Machen has the advantage now over Kyle Mossman. What can Kyle do about that as the boys come into the closing meters of their 100 meter race this afternoon? And it is Aaron Machen who will take this ahead of Kyle Mossman and in third place, Kieran Brown. 116.44 for our winner, 117.05 for Kyle Mossman and 119.88 for our third place swimmer, Kieran Brown. That went to Aaron Machen. This is heat four, uh, lane one, Harry Keogh, red 96, two, Kyle Connolly, City of Glasgow, three, Finlay Bennett, Rutherglen, four, Eclavia Singh, Scotia, five, Sanyo Beetham, Bones, six, Guy Pelosi, City of Glasgow. Quickest entry here, Finlay Bennett, in lane three from Rutherglen. It looks very close at the moment, right across the lanes. Lanes two, three, and four. Especially Kyle Connolly, Finley Bennett, Glabia Singh. And it's lane four who turns first at Glabia Singh, 34 53. There's not much in this at all. This could go right to the wire. Kyle Connolly now coming through in the blue cap here. City of Glasgow in lane two. But the green cap with Glabia a couple away. And then in between them, Finley Bennett, Rutherglen also going well in lane one. Harry Keogh. And over in five, Samuel Beetham. So this is a tight one. It looks as if it might be Kyle Connolly who's now just going to burst towards the finish line. And Kyle Connolly is going to take this. 114.51 from Kyle. 114.89. The second, Finlay Bennett. And great finish there. And win one, one sixteen zero zero from Harry Keogh. I think we still have to have these results. Confirmed. Final times on the board now. That's the final confirmed times for the previous seats. So it looks like Glavia Singh took third, 115.53. And this is heat five, the final heat of event 203. We have four swimmers. Lane one, Fraser van der Moelen, Sterling Swimming. Empty lane two, three, Logan van der Moelen, Sterling Swimming. Four, Ruri Webster, Dumfries. Empty lane five and six, Adam Hill from Sterling Swimming. Range, entry, range of entry times, I beg your pardon, 108 through to 111. Going into the turn, it will be lane four, Rory Webster, the Dumfries swimmer, 32.55, followed by Logan van der Moelen, 
and Adam Hill. Ruri still has the advantage, but Logan is coming back. Trying to rein Ruri in. Ruri's managing to hold him. This is going to be really tight between these two swimmers in the centre of the pool here. Really difficult to tell. This is all going to come down to the touch. I think it's going to be Logan that will get this. And he does. In a time of 109.83, 110.34 for Ruri Webster. And Adam Hill, in a time of 112.95, comes third. On to the female, 100 metre breaststroke now, heat 1 of 5, lane 1, Heidi Shaw, round 9 to 6, 2, Emma Patterson, City of Glasgow, 3, Rachel McGavin, Hamilton, 4, Nina Spirit Hawthorne, and Clyde, 5, Iona Kellock, Tim Fries, 6, Anna Law, from Lark Hall. So quickest entry here, 127.8, and goes through to 132.67. And it is... Lane three with a good start here. Rachel McGavin, Hamilton swimmer. Rachel. Rachel, 16 year old. And we have Nina is 14. And the rest are 13. Good turn there by Emma Patterson in lane two. So she's looking good. But look over there in lane six. Anna Law. Suddenly put her foot in the gas here, so she's contending for top spot, if not already taking that first spot. As she comes to the last quarter of her race. So Anna Law, Lark Hall Summer, 132.67 entry. Looking very good for that one. So it looks like Anna Law, Rachel McGavin and Emma Patterson will be the one, two, three. Anna Law takes that 127.09, so it's a good five second improvement there. Uh, 129.11 in second from Emma Patterson again underneath entry by a second third place 131.64 for Nina Spirit Hawthorne Keep your eye on the board there, there could be a little change in one of the times, just waiting for this to be confirmed. And there we have it, that's our final times on the board there. And that's the result confirmed as we move on to heat two. And this is Heat 2, Lane 1, Ellen White, Sterling Swimming, 2, Amy Dobson, Kingston, 3, Evie Chan, Ren 96, 4, Katie Watson, City of Glasgow, 5, Grace Blair, Falkirk Otter, and 6, Anna Trachenko from City of Glasgow. So 14, 15, 16, and 17-year-olds go in this heat. 
Entry times from 125 through to 127. Pretty tight, but I think it may be lane one. Ellen White will take the field into the first turn. She does 39.86 for Ellen, and we're over to wait to lane six for second place, Anna Trichenko. And in the middle of the pool, Katie Watson in third at the halfway mark. So here they come down to the finish. And it is still lane one ahead of lane six, but it's anybody's battle for third place at the moment. What can Anna do to catch Ellen? Ellen still has the advantage here in lane one. Anna is moving really well over there in lane six. She may well now have the advantage over the summer from Sterling Swimming. Who's regained that as they're going into the closing stages. And it is lane one. Takes that ahead of lane six. 126.00. 126.65. Ellen White and Anna Trichenko. And it's Evie Chad in lane three. Taking third place. 128.11. This is heat three of five. Lane one, Lisa McNair, Stirling Swim. Two, Leah Rafferty, Western Bartonshire. Three, Millie Cove and Dumfries. Four, Hannah Lindsay from Hamilton. Five, Gina Wren, City of Glasgow. Six, Ada Broden from Wren 96. Times ranging from 123.3 to 125.3 on entry. Just some results for you. And the 800 meter freestyle girls. 13 year old prize, Charlotte Craig. 14-year-old, second place, Amy Rao. First place, Daisy Goldia. 15-year-old, third place, Abby McMillan. Second place, Emma, Emma Binney. First, Lucy Hunter. 16-year-old, second, Susanna Curran. First, Alice Cumming. 17 to 18, second, Megan McDonald. First, Tia Glenn. Go and collect your medals when you can, girls. Thank you. Back in the pool here, looking pretty tight. But four swimmers at the moment contention for the top swap. Could be between the outside lanes just now. Lisa McNair in one, Ada Broden in six. And also in between them, Millie Colvin going well in three. So it looks like one, three and six. I think it's going to be lane six, Ada Broden, Ren 96. Who will take this? Ada Broden's going to take it, followed by Lisa McNair at 125.38. For Ada, Lisa 125.94. And in third, Millie Colvin, 127.14. So this is heat four of event uh, 204, lane one, Victoria Grabowska from Western Bartonshire. Two, Rebecca Strachan, City of Glasgow. Three, Amber Hinton, Dumfries. Four, Ella Cunningham, City of Glasgow. Five, Victoria Weir, Falkirk Otter. And six, Caelan Chan, Ren 96. So the youngest swimmer is uh, Amber Hinton uh, in lane three. Looks like she may have the lead going into the turn there. 
And indeed she does, 38-44, ahead of Victoria Weir and Ella Cunningham at the halfway mark. And it is still the 14-year-old from Dumfries, Amber Hinton, leading the field. Battle at the moment going on for second place, I think, between lanes four and five. Victoria Weir and Ella Cunningham. But it will be Amber Hinton who will take this heat. Her entry time here, 121.72. I think she's going to smash that. Indeed, she has one walk talks not stopped. Difficult to tell there. 123.57. That isn't right. That to the um, we'll just wait for the scoreboard to update itself. It's not recorded a time for lane three. But Amber Hinton. Being told the time is 1.18.53, but that does need to be confirmed. So with Ella Cunningham coming in second, Victoria Grabowska in third. And there we go, that's the scoreboard updated to confirm the result with Amber Hinton taking that in a time of This is our fifth and final heat. Lane one, Caitlin Frame, Grangemouth. Two, Kayla Smith, City of Glasgow. Three, E.B. Mackey, Lanark. Four, Ava Ross, City of Glasgow. Five, Kimberly Willis, Ren 96. Six, Neve Quinn, Kintyre. So quickest on paper uh, by a good amount here is E.B. Mackey. Lane three, 116, 17 entry. Also going well outside E.B. at the moment, Ava Ross. And Caitlin Frame in lane one as well. So but a lot of the girls are in contention. It is Evie Mackey who turns first 36-45. There's not much between them across the pool though. So Evie Mackey looking fairly strong behind her. Looks like Ava Ross. Outside Ava and five. Kimberly Willis moving into contention. Also in lane one. Caitlin Frame, so I'll to swim for here for second place. Evie Mackey certainly going to take this one. 116 17 is her entry. She might just be a fraction outside. 117 30. Evie Mackey takes that. Second place and 121 54. Eva Ross, third is Kayla Smith. Just wait for these results again to be confirmed. And this is event 205, the male 14 to 18, 50 metre freestyle. Lane one, Declan Cassells, two, Lance McMahon, three, Leighton Bonner, four, Tyler Morris, five, Brody Lydon, and six, Michael West. 
looks like it's lane three challenged by lane five lane five took that Brody Lydon Leighton Bonner second and Tyler Morris in third 27.46, 27.48 and 27.75 for our first three boys in that heat Heat two, and from lanes one through to six, Rory Keegan Ward, Finlay Byrne, Gregor Skinner, Joe Carty, Kyle Saunderson, and James Gillis. Good start in lane two there, Finlay Byrne, Falkirk, and alongside him, Gregor Skinner. These are the two in front at the moment, and we'll see if they can hold that as they go towards the finish line. It's going to be between Finlay and Gregor. Let's see who takes this one, and it is Gregor Skinner, 26 70, and into Second is Kyle Saunderson, 27 26. Third, Joe Carty, 27 33. Very close heat across the board there. We move on to heat three. Lane 1, Callum Trainer 2, Fraser van der Moulen 3, David Landman 4, Cole Morrison 5, Alfie Churches 6, Nur Ahmad oh, Really in a line at the moment In the latter half of this race Looks like it could be lane 6 And it was lane six, 26, 87, the Ren 96, Nur Ahmad. Lane five, Alfie Church is in second. And third place goes to David Landman, in a time of 27, 21, 26, 95 for Alfie Churches. Heat four. Lane one, Harris Sharp. Two, Lewis Husson. Three, Ewan Watson. Five, Rudy Webster. Six, Dean Borgatti. It's too close to tell at the moment. Really tight. Looks like possibly one Harris Sharp. But this will go right to the wire. And stroke for stroke here. And it is Harris Sharp, 26 39. Ewan Watson, 26.48. Lewis Husson, 26.50. Just two hundredths between second and third there. And that's the result confirmed on to Heat 5. And this is the final heat, lane one, Reese Edwards, two, Nikolai Sisnit, empty lane three, four, Alex Black, five, Cameron Gill, six, Alex Tinch. Nikolai Sisnit looked like, it looked like he has the lead from the angle here, Cameron Gill coming through, Alex Black. And that went to Alex Black. In a time of 25.59, Reese Edwards, 26 exactly, and Lane Fives, Cameron Gill in third place, 27.23. Just 
waiting for the scoreboard to confirm times there. There was a missing time that may change the finish order. So we will be moving on to the girls' 50-meter freestyle in just a moment. Just waiting for times to be um, recorded for lane two in that final heat of the boys' 50-meter freestyle. There we go. So that does um, affect the finishing order that I gave you. It's lane four, Alex Black, Nikolai Sisnit in second, and third place goes to Reese Edwards. Okay, we're on to the girls' 50 freestyle now. There's five heats, one through to five in heat one. Amy Dobson, Evelyn Coyle, Lucy McLaughlin, Victoria Lewinska, Nina Spirit Hawthorne, and Emma Emery. Quickest on entry, Lucy McLaughlin, 30.03. We'll see if they can challenge the 30 second mark here. Amy Dobson's going well for Kingston in lane one. I think Amy will take this. We'll see what time she posts. Oh, she does just break the 30, 29.98 for Amy Dobson. Second place, Lucy McLaughlin, 34.3. And third place, Evelyn Coyle, 30.90. So this is uh, Heat 2, Lane 1, Sophie McGinley, 2, Addison Cole, 3 is Evie Chan, 4 is Kimberly Willis, 5, Hannah Lindsay, and 6, Casey Dixon. Possibly Casey Dixon, Dixon but let's look at Lane 3. Evie Chan, she looks like she's going to take this, and she does, 30.08. Casey Dixon in second and Sophie McGinley in third. 30 39 for Kimberly. Sorry, a big pardon for Casey. And 30 65 for Sophia McGinley. This is Heat 3, from 1 through to 6, Ava Ross, Caitlin Morton, Zoe Crawford, Emma Miller, Sophie Allison and Daisy Gildea. Crack and start for Ava Ross in lane 1, she is in the lead at the moment, and over uh, lane 4 and 4 to 6 are lined up here, it's difficult to tell in the rest of the pool, possibly between Ava in 1 and Daisy Gildea in 6, but well, we'll see what the time's posted here, and it's a 29.38 for Ava Ross and second Dizzy Godia 29.70 third Emma Miller 29.76 
And this is Heat 4, Lane 1, Anna Campbell. 2, Sienna Melville. 3, Ella Cunningham. And 4, Isla Dobson. And Isla Dobson, Lane 5. Looks like she may have the advantage. It's watched Anna Campbell, however. She's swimming really well. Difficult, very tight at the finish here. It's going to be Anna Campbell, I think. And it is ahead of Isla Dobson. 29-17, 29-41. And in third place, lane three, Ella Cunningham. 29-74. So fifth and final heat, lane one, Emily Dickens, two, Anna Lee, no swimmer in three, four, Safrina Machen, five, Millie Colvin, six, Gina Wren. Quickest on paper here is Safrina Machen, 28-6. Uh, looks like Safrina just a fraction ahead at the moment. Second, Millie Colvin, possibly. Uh, coming through well, Emily Dickens in one. I think Safrina will take it. She does, 28-54, Safrina Machen. Second, Millie Colvin, 29-29. And third, Emily Dickens, 29-46. So we're just... Uh Organising the backstroke starts to start event 207. So a change of pace here as we move to a 200 metre backstroke. Start with the boys. Where we have four heats. Before moving on to the girls, we're also four heats. So as I said, this is event 207. This is heat one of four. Empty lane one, two, Yasin Hatab Dumfries, three, Blair McCarroll, South Ayrshire, four, Jack Morrison, Cumbernauld, five, Felix Broom, South Ayrshire, and six, Finn McDonald, East Kilbride. So a mixture of 12, 13, and 14 year olds go in this heat. Entry times ranging, from, ranging I beg your pardon, from 2.41 to 2.53 so boys going into the first turn at the far end of the pool there and it is lane 3 Blair McCarroll from South Ayrshire leading ahead of Jack Morrison and Finn McDonald so just got the results here for event 203 the 11 to 13 100 metre breaststroke for the boys um, 11 to 13 gent First place, Jensen Basketer, City of Glasgow. Second, Kyle Rording, Falkirk. Third, Zach Neeson, Lark Hall. 14-year-old boys. First place, Aaron Machen, City of Glasgow. Second, Angus Woods, Kintyre. Third, Matthew Jack, Renfrew Bath. Going back to the pool and in at the halfway mark here. It is lane four, just ahead of lane three. 119.51, 119.69. Really nothing splitting those two boys. Blair McCarroll and Jack Morrison. And it's Jack Morrison who has the slight advantage as they go down to the final turn. In behind our two leaders, it is lane two, Yasin Hatab. The 13-year-old from Dumfries in third place. Boys going into the final turn at the far end of this pool. And it is lane four, 20106. Jack Morrison 
Blair McCarroll, 201.79. And Yasin Hatab, 204.17 at the final turn. Coming down. Still lane four, Jack Morrison, who has the advantage. The Cumberland Old Swimmer there in the distinctive yellow cap. In behind him, South Ayrshire's Blair McCarroll. Too much for Blair to do to catch Jack now. And one and two will be Jack, Morrison, Blair McCarroll. And in third place will be Yasin Hatab. So I'll finish the results for 203. 15 year old boys. First place, Kyle Connolly, City of Glasgow. Second, Finlay Bennett, Rutherglen. Third, Fraser van der Moulen, Sterling Swimming. 16 year old boys. First, Kieran Brown. Second, Joe Jameson. Third, David D Daniel Faulkner. Seven to 18, Logan van der Moulen, Ruri Webster, Adam Hill. One, two, and three. Okay, we're on to heat two now. Lane one, Lucas Craw from Rutherglen. Two, Brian Fitzpatrick, Weston Barton. Three, James Stewart, Scotia. Four, Seamus Barbary, East Kilbride. Five, Murray Johnson, round 96. Six, Ollie Jeffers, round 96. Apologies for the gaps here, we're just trying to sort a little uh, technical hitch out in the venue, but I think we're okay. So, in the lead here in lane four, Seamus Barbary, let's go bride swimmer. And alongside him, James Stewart. So, quickest on entry here is James, 231.80. So, Seamus Barbary, East Kilbride swimmer, looking fairly comfortable at the moment, it's fairly close in second between uh, James Stewart and Murray Johnson, who's just trying to pull up and drop a little bit as this 50 progresses. In fourth, it looks like lane one just now, Lucas Craw from Rutherglen. So the turn there, 149.74. So we're talking around about 40 seconds, just maybe 41 for the last 50 metres here to match the entry or get better for Seamus. So a very comfortable looking Seamus Barber here. He's good bride, 232.73. The entry is going to smash that to pieces here. 2.27.02 for Seamus Barbary and coming into second place James Stewart 2.33.67 and in third Murray Johnson 2.35.19 
Uh, heat three, lane one, Jude Mowbray, City of Glasgow. Empty lanes two and three, four, Joe Carty, City of Glasgow. Five, Finley Quidici, Renfrew Baths. And six, Dean Binney, Inverclyde. The results for event 204, the girls 11 to 13, 100 meter breaststroke. First place, Anna Law, Lark Hall. Second, Emma Patterson, City of Glasgow. And third, Iona Kellock, Dumfries, 14 year old girls. First place, Amber Hinton, Dumfries. Second, Kayla Smith, City of Glasgow. Third, Evie Chan, Ren 96. 15 year old girls. First place, Evie Mackey, Lanark. Second, Ava Ross. Third, Ella Cunningham, both City of Glasgow. 16-year-old girls, first place, Neve Quinn, Kintyre, second, Kimberly Willis, Ren 96, third, Victoria Weir, Falkirk, and the 7 to 18 year old girls, first place, Victoria Grabowska, Western Bartonshire, Caitlin Frame, Grangemouth, second, and Katie Watson, City of Glasgow, third. So let's go back to the pool, and it is Jude, Br Jude Malbury, the City of Glasgow swimmer, who has the advantage. Going into the turn, 1.11.54 for him. Lane four in behind him. Lane five in third place. Joe Carty, Finley Guidici. In behind our leader, Jude Malbury. So the entry times here for these boys range from 2.29, two 2.30, 2.31. So fairly, all fairly close. But at the moment, it looks like this is Jude Malbury's race in lane one. He will turn first and head for home. Lane four following him, Joe Carty, Jude's teammate, and the Renfrew Bath swimmer, Finley Guidici, in third, as we were at the halfway mark. So can Jude keep this going and hang on to this lead? Finley Guidici really beginning to move through the water now. Has he do left it too late to do anything about moving his increase, improving his placing in this race? Jude Malbury. Malbury, Joe Carty, Finley Guidici. We're coming to the closing meters. That will be your finishing order. City of Glasgow swimmers, Jude Malbury first, Joe Carty second, and Renfrew Baths. Finley Guidici comes in to finish in third place. 226.93 for our winner. Second place, 229.48 and 233.13 for third place. This is our fourth and final heat. And in lane one, Adam Hill, Stirling Swim. Two, Gregor Skinner, Bones. Three, Fraser van der Mullen, Stirling Swim. Four, Kel Mossman, City of Glasgow. Five, Jamie Gilchrist, East Kilbride. Six, Harry Keogh from Ren 96. Times in this one, 221.60 through to 226.53. Fraser van der Mullen is the quickest entry time here. At the moment it's Adam Hill, 33.53 after the first 50. Uh, in lane one. And Kyle's Mossman in second. Off that first turn. A fast start from Adam Hill here. 17 year old from Stirling. Locked together over there in five and six. Jamie Gilchrist, Harry Keogh. And next to them, Kel Mossman. Well, it's all quite tight. Apart from lane one, Adam Hill right out in front here, 1.10.01. So that's a good second and a half quicker than the previous heat. So Adam's really taking this one on. So 2.24 and 10, 2.24.1, I should say, is Adam's entry. Throw a blank over the rest of the swimmers, they're pretty close together. But Adam looking strong here, possibly edge in second. Kyle Mossman, City of Glasgow swimmer, in four. But 
Adams taking this one on from the outset. 147-23 going into the final turn. So looking very good here, unless he slows up to, to beat his entry time with 224. And just with a fraction ahead of the rest in second. Cal Mossman. Adam Hill possibly slowing a touch to the finish, but he's done enough to take it by a good distance. Actually, he'll probably be just about under his entry. Yes, he is. 223.71 for Adam. 226.98 in second. Kyle Mossman. And in third, Harry Keogh. 228.26. So this is event 208, this is heat one of four, 200 meter backstroke for our females. So uh, lane one, Cara Broadley, Sterling Swimming, two, Ava Pettigrew, Cumbernauld, three, Abby McMillan, City of Glasgow, four, Lucy McLaughlin, Inver Clyde, five, Sarah McGuffey, City of Glasgow, and six, Hazel Chu from Wren 96. So three 13 year olds, a 14 year old, and two 15. We're all to go in this first heat of this 200 meter backstroke for the girls. And at the first turn, it is going to be lane two, 37.95 for Ava Pettigrew, ahead of Lucy McLaughlin and Sarah McGuffey. Just give you the results for event 205, the 50 meter freestyle for the boys, 14 year olds. First place, Nicola Sisnit, Nikolai Sisnit. City of Glasgow, second, Brody Lydon, City of Glasgow, and third, Leighton Bonner, Inverclyde. 15 year old boys, first place goes to Kyle Saunderson, South Ayrshire, second, Fraser van der Moulin, Sterling Swimming, and third, Rory Keegan Ward, City of Glasgow. 16 year old boys, first place, Reese Edwards, Dumfries, second, Ewan Watson, Renfrew Bass, third, Dean Bagatti, Hamilton Bass, th uh, 17 to 18 boys, First place goes to Alex Jap, so Alex Black from Falkirk Otter. Second is Harris Jap, Adrian Monklands, and third Lewis Hassan from Sterling Swimming. So back to the pool. So back to the pool, and it's lane two. Ava Pettigrew continues to lead this ahead of Cara Broadley. Really tight actually in behind first place. See what happens at this final turn. It is lane two first, ahead of City of Glasgow, Sarah McGuffey and Lucy McLaughlin from Inverclyde. So Ava Pettigrew, Sarah McGuffey, Lucy McLaughlin. We are one, two and three at the turn. They're beginning to catch Sarah McGuffey is coming through now. They're in lane three. No, I beg your pardon, that's not right. Abby McMillan in lane three coming through. She has the lead now. Battle for second place. But it's lane three that will take this 243.85. Second place goes to Ava Pettigrew, 245.36. And Lucy McLaughlin, 245.74.
This is heat two. And one Amy Rowell from City of Glasgow, two Susanna Curran, Kilmarnock, three Emily Dickens, City of Glasgow, four Molly Evan Watson, Dumfries, five Abby Henderson, Rutherglen, six Charlotte McGavin from Hamilton. Quickest here is, is Emily Dickens, 20, sorry, 236.60. And it is Emily, first of the turn, 36.87. So, second and a half up from the rest of the field. Some more results to announce for you. So, the 50 year old freestyle. And we'll work our way through the age groups 14 first. And this is for the girls. First, Daisy Goldia, City of Glasgow. Second, Amy Dobson, Kingston. Third, Casey Dixon, Rutherglen. 15 year olds, first, Anna Campbell. Second, Ava Ross. Third, Ella Cunningham, all Glasgow. 16 year olds, first, Millie Colvin. Second, Isla Dobson. Third, Anna Lee Sterling. Uh, and it's been facing Glasgow for the other two. And 17 to 18, Safrina Machen. First, Emily Dickens. Second, Zoe Crawford. Third. So, first of the turn. 116.03 there for Emily Dickens. So, she's well clear of the rest of the field. It's already looks like a battle for second place. It's fairly tight here. Um, lane two, Susanna Curran. Possibly Susanna, or it could be over in lane four there. Molly Urban Watson. So into the final turn here. Emily Dickens looking very strong. 157.26. We'll see what that lead is, about six seconds. Now ahead of lane four, Molly Evan Watson. And Molly's come in here um, as a reserve swimmer, coming to the heat. She's a 240.1 entry time. Well, a really impressive swim here in lane three. Emily Dickens, 17 year old from City of Glasgow. So 236.6 on entry. Possibly hang up a fraction just towards the finish uh, she'll post a time of 237.65 for Emily there and a strong finish in lane 2 there Susanna Curran 242.58 and the third 244.10 for Amy Rowe And this is heat three, lane one, Isla Dobson, City of Glasgow, two, Amber Hinton, Dumfries, three, Anna Tachenko, City of Glasgow, four, Leah Rafferty, Western Bartonshire, five, Rachel McGavin, Hamilton Baths, and six, Rebecca Somerville from Ren 96. The results for event 207, the 200 meter backstroke for the boys, the 11 to 13 year old, first place, Yasin Hatib, Hatab, I beg your pardon, Dumfries, second, Felix Broom, South Ayrshire, and third, Finn McDonald, East Kilbride, 14 year old boys. First place, Murray Johnson, Wren 96, second, Jack Morrison, Cumbernauld, third, Blair McCarroll, South Ayrshire, 15 year old boys. First, Kyle Mossman, City of Glasgow, second, Fraser van der Moulen, Sterling Swimming, and third, Deed Binney from Inverclyde. 16 year old boys, first place Jude Mowbray, City of Glasgow and his teammate Joe Carty in second place, third Finley Guidici Renfu Baths 7 to 18 year olds, first place Adam Hill, Sterling Swimming, second Seamus Barbary, East Kilbride and third, Rahari Keogh, Ren 96 back to the pool and it is lane 6 that had the, t the lead at the turn there but let's watch lane 4 now 
Leo Rafferty had came out of the turn well there with the advantage ahead of lane six who is coming back at her also need to keep an eye on lanes two and three Amber Hinton and Anna Tachenko also up there in the front of the field so we're going into the final turn will it be lane four will it be lane six Lane six just ahead of lane four. So Rebecca Somerville ahead of Leah Rafferty at the final turn. But here comes Amber Hinton, the 14-year-old from Dumfries. She's come out of that turn well and is getting herself ahead of the field. Often seen this from Amber at West District Swims. And she has the advantage, but they're not letting it go easily. Leah, Leah Rafferty coming back. Rebecca Somerville. All going to be fairly tight, but this will be Amber's race, I think. It's battle for second place, but it goes to lane six. My apologies, the scoreboard showing something different there. Amber Hinton, Leah Rafferty, Rebecca Somerville. Well, you're one, two, and three, but we need to wait for the results to be confirmed there. And the disqualification of a technical infraction in lane four, which does affect the... Um, Placings, Amber Hinton, Rebecca Somerville, and up into third place is Anna Tchenko. This is heat four. In lane one, we have Abigail Crawford from City of Glasgow. Lane three, Zoe Crawford, Falkirk. Lane four, Evie Mackey, Lanark. And lane six, Olivia Caldwell, City of Glasgow. Quickest here on entry, Zoe Crawford, 224.88. Moment, it's pretty close between three of the girls. Abigail Crawford, Zoe Crawford, Evie Mackey. Possibly Abigail. No, it's not. It's E.B. Mackey first to the turn, 34-42. But still a long, long way to go here. So E.B. Mackey at the halfway point, 111.54. Zoe Crawford, 113.46. That's the one two at the moment. Uh, Abigail Crawford not too far behind, 114.04. Good turn there by Abigail. And she's she's neck and neck with two Crawfords, Abigail Crawford, Zoe Crawford. And E.B. Mackey looking pretty strong here. She's drawn away from the other two. E.B. Mackey's entry, 2.26.10. She turns into the final 50, 1.49 and 19. So, looks like she'll have to put in a time around about the mid-30s here. She's looking pretty strong, though. E.B. Mackey from Lanark, 15 years old. Looking very good. She 
approaches the flags here. It's neck and neck for second. Well, it's, well Zoe Crawford is just in second place. But E.B. Mackey will take this round about her entry time. 2.27.05 for E.B. Mackey. Zoe Crawford will take second place. 2.32.67. Third, Abigail Crawford, 2.33.72. So this is event 209, final event of today's racing here at East School Prize Session 2. This is heat one of three, it's the men 400 meter freestyle. Lane one, Angus Woods, Kintyre, two, Andrew Patterson, City of Glasgow, three, Callum Trainer, Sterling Swimming, four, Jude Mowbray, City of Glasgow, five, Samuel Ruff, City of Glasgow, and six, Jack Handley from Wren 96. It's lane four, Jude Mowbray, City of Glasgow swimmer who has taken an early lead here. Ahead of lane three, Callum Trainer. And in behind him, the City of Glasgow, Andrew Patterson. So Jude Mowbray, 100 meters completed, 106.24. Boys' entry times here range from 4.41 to 5.28. So we would expect the field to see the field spread out. But they're not letting Jude have it all his own way at the moment. Just catching up with him is lane three, Callum Trainer from Sterling Swimming. But Jude is managing to respond and will go into the turn. Ahead for 143.51. Callum Trainer 145.14. And Andrew Patterson 145.66. So the qualifying times for this event. 503.11. I think our 13 year old already has that. 14 year olds for 38.18. So Andrew Patterson will be looking for, for that time this evening. 16 year olds qualifying time needs to be for 32.50 and 4.23.30 for our. 17 and 18 year olds we don't have any 17 year olds now because of course angus woods from kintyre is 14 not uh, 17 as uh, stated in the start sheets it is lane four jude mowbray continues the lead ahead of callum trainer and andrew patterson Angus Woods and Samuel Ruff in behind them. Jack Mowbray looking fairly comfortable with his lead now. Coming into the turn ahead of his teammate, Andrew Patterson, followed by Callum Trainer. Angus Woods, Samuel Ruff. Andrew Patterson now has the advantage for second place. 
ahead of Callum Trainer. What can Callum do to respond to that as Jude continues the pace out in front? Into the turn goes Jude for 10.21. Teammate Andrew Patterson in behind him. Callan Trainer in third. Angus Woods. Samuel Ruff. No one's going to catch Jude now. I think this will be a Glass City of Glasgow 1 2. Jude Mowbray, Andrew Patterson. There's nothing that the Callum Trainer can do about this now. Let's watch Angus Woods coming through. Finishing there in a time of 4.45.12 for Jude Mowbray, Andrew Patterson, 4.47.80, Callum Trainer, 4.51.75. And the Kintyre swimmer just ran out of water to catch and getting him finishing it in fourth place. Here's some encouragement for our 12-year-old from Wren 96, Jack Handley, coming into the closing stages of his 400-metre freestyle this evening. Finishing there in a time of 5.26.79. He will be well pleased with that. And his proven on his entry time, a new PB for Jack. Well done, Jack. Heat two, lane one, Daniel Henry, City of Glasgow. Two, Kyle Connolly, City of Glasgow. Three, Tyler Stewart, East Kilbride. Four, Fraser Gemmell, Sterling Swim. Five, Seamus Barbary, East Kilbride. Six, Aaron Machen, City of Glasgow. So, quickest on entry to this one is Tyler Stewart, 433.90. Tyler's 17, Seamus is 18, so they're swimming in the same category. And then we've got Daniel Kyle, Fraser all 15 and Aaron Machen 14 There's a few different mini races going on within this heat here and just with his nose in front at the moment it's Tyler Stewart but not by much over um, Kyle Connolly Fraser Gemmell Seamus Barbary also going well as is uh, Daniel Henry and Adam Machen, the youngest swimmer over there, in 6 2. So at the 100 meter mark, 106.10. Sorry, 105.49, I should say. Oh, oh. Start again, 105.13. <laughs> What's the quickest time there? It's getting to that stage of the day. <laughs> Pretty close contest here, though. Sometimes in these. So middle distance freestyle events it's good to have swimmers alongside you to push you on so it looks like that's what they're doing at the moment along these middle lanes especially so just with a fraction in front is lane 4 Razor Gemmo so the Sterling Swimmer 15 year old we'll see if any of these swimmers try and make a move Kyle Connolly had a good turn there and he was, he was trying to nudge ahead of the rest. He's possibly now just a fraction in front. Now as they approach the halfway mark, it looks like Kyle Connolly, maybe a half a body length up in the rest. 2 16 16. A bit 0.62 seconds ahead of second place. Fraser Gemmel. That was a cracking turn there by Kyle, and he's now going through the paces here. Obviously, executed a race plan. He's thought about an advance, maybe to speed up at the halfway point. Between two and three hundred is sometimes the time that swimmers make a move. That's what Kyle is doing, and really stretched ahead of the rest now. 
The City of Glasgow swimmer looking very good. Opened up a four second lead. That was less than a second at the 200 meter mark. Moved up to four seconds by 250. And he's still motoring through here. Arms and legs going like the clappers here. Kyle Connolly looking very strong. So the rest are battling it out for second place. Well, Kyle Connolly, 3.23.04 at 300 metres. So, looks like about a 1.13 he has to put in the last 100. You would think he would easily do that. Um, you'd think he'd come well below his entry here. There's a right battle going on for second here. Tyler Stewart, Fraser Gemmel, Seamus Barbary all alongside each other. So second place is still up for grabs. No doubt who's going to win this. Kyle Connolly into the final turn. Still underneath the four minutes mark. 358.8. So as long as he puts in a sub 38 seconds, 50 metres here, he will be underneath that entry time. 15 year old qualification is 437.30 consideration 445.62 so 437 he'll be targeting and he's going to make that alright so Kyle Connolly comes in to take it great swim there 433.08 for Kyle Connolly tremendous swim Coming through to second place is lane five, Seamus Barbary, 440.54, and in third, Fraser Gemmel, 441.32. Now we move to our final heat of the session. Here we go, go, the final heat of this session two. So, lane one, Alfie Churches, City of Glasgow. Empty lane two, three, Kyle Connolly, East Kilbride. Four, Tom Jeffords, Ren 96. Five, Logan van der Moulen, Sterling Swimming. And six, Dean Bargatti, Hamilton Baths. Four entry times here for seven... Kai Connolly 41932 through to 432.60. The range of entry times for the boys in the, in the water at the moment. And it looks like it is lane four. Tom Jeffords, Ren 96, has the advantage over Logan van der Moulen and Kai Connolly. But let's keep an eye on Alfie Churches on his own here nearer me in lane one. Turning Alfie's up in second place in behind Tom Jeffords at the turn. 100 metres completed. It is still Tom Jeffords ahead of Alfie Churches and Logan van der Moulen in lane five is in third place. Ren 96 is Tom Jeffords. Alfie Churches, Logan van der Moulen. Kai Connolly in fourth. What can he do? They're coming up to the halfway mark of this 400 meter freestyle. But it is still the Ren 96 is Tom Jeffords. Logan van der Moulen now up into second place from Sterling Swimming and Alfie Church is in third. So slight change there. Alfie had a good turn, however, back up on par with the Logan with Logan van der Moulen for second place. Tom Jeffords still holding these two boys off. Leading the field. 
Hi, Connolly in fourth play, place, I beg your pardon, looking to make a move, at least get himself up into third. So going into the turn, Tom Jeffords, Logan van der Moulen. First and second ahead of Alfie Churches. So no change in the order, but look at the time difference. Really nothing to write home about between our first and second place swimmers. As Logan van der Moulen gets himself right up alongside Tom Jeffords now. Stroke for stroke. The two boys coming to the turn at the 300 metres. Real battle going on here in this final race of this evening's racing. And it was Tom Jeffords just has the advantage over Logan van der Moulen going into the turn. Alfie Church is in third, but making a move now to get himself up from that third place, challenging our two leaders. As Logan van der Moulen looks like he's beginning to move as he goes into the final turn, he's got himself ahead of Tom Jeffords. What can Tom do to respond to this challenge? Alfie Churches is motoring through the water, but it's Logan van der Moulen at the turn there. Has the advantage over Tom Jeffords. The boys have all turned, both, both turned and are heading for home. Logan is moving away from Tom Jeffords. Whether Tom can respond, Alfie Churches moving through the water he's hoping looking to get himself up at least up into second place challenging tom jeff, jeff jeffords for that placing there but it will be the swimmer from sterling swimming logan van der Moulen, who will take this doing so in the time of 4 20 24 and alfie churches got himself through good last 50 meters for him into up into second place 42202 and tom jeffords in third 42203 as that completes the racing here at the dolans thank you very much to um, all of our to everybody who's joined us well had joined us in the spectator gallery looking a little sparse now those of you joining us on live stream we are back here tomorrow afternoon at around 3 p.m to do this all over again. Huge thank you to all of our volunteers, both poolside and behind the scenes. We couldn't have run today without you. Thank you very much. So all remains that remains for me to do, Jackie Smith, and on behalf of uh, Stuart Stevenson, is to wish you all a safe journey home, or wherever you may be traveling to this today, and we'll hopefully see you all back again tomorrow.